so hello guys welcome to coding mode in this video we will talk about how we can configure the sys debug in our php so now let's to configure we need to get the info of our php of our ipsp version and all so now let's say info.php create one file and then now here we need to echo the information about the php so that we can get the right uh, cstbug file for us so now echo and then php info there it is this is a function now call, call, let's call this function and now let's go to our local host and here we will see our info.php on our local host open the ARP. and then now let's copy all this control a and control c copy all these and then let's go to sysdebug.org slash wizard here you can paste this all information and it will analyze our information and then it will give the best ps yes debug yes debug file for us so now let's initial this file now after installing this file we'll go to our download and then we will see here the sdbug file we will rename this file to sdbug just sdbug and then we will copy this file and then paste it to windows samp and then php etc and then here, here we will paste this file we will paste now after pasting this we will go to we will go to the php one one folder back and then here down here we will see php.ini here we'll open this file with uh, visual studio code as you can see and now here we will go to the last and then we will add some code here i already had sysd box so i already have code so now let's you can see this code and then you can copy and if you want to know how, what this code means is it's basically the calling the sysd bug file but if you want to dig into this dig into these uh, commands you can copy this and simply paste on uh, chat gpt or you can search on internet and you will know what this means so after doing this what we have done is we have done the installing process now let's get into our visual studio code and one thing we need to do is we need to install another psp i think it's a psp debug psp debug yeah we need to install this psp debug and yeah after installing this php debug we have extension on our visual studio code so now let's we can check oh uh, first thing first we need to i guess we need to restart the server apache server so now let's restart our apache server and then here what we will do is we will see if this work or not so now let's um, for example do echo process success i don't know if this thing is correct or not cc is i don't know whatever process success now let's this let's um stop the cc debug here now let's we need to click on run and debug and run and debug and then listen to six debug um ex debug and we will go to our browser open our file uh, open our file info.php so it is not working why isn't working let's see let's see our php.ini yeah 
we have our file name is sdbug.dlr not uh, php sdbug so now let's change this and then now let's echo here stop stop now let's reload our page here let's see if it work it didn't work because we haven't listened our XT bug my bad guys we need to listen for XT bug here and as you can see now let's try another time let's reload this space and as you can see it's stopped on our breakpoint so that's it guys we have done this now you can debug your PHP whenever you want and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you next time.